Okay, guys, so I'm now I'm doing a workout, um, Mr. and Mrs. Muscle, uh, number 35 inner thigh and glutes workout with beginner mods. Um, you know, stuff like push ups if you can't go all the way down, which I cannot, you could be on your knees. Um, crunches might be um, a little different. I kind of skimmed through this just beforehand, um, because my, my, um, my TV is a little weird about YouTube with the remote and stuff. So I try and skim it on my laptop before I watch it on here. But anyways, um, so if you'd like to follow along, hopefully I could be kind of uh, some motivation for you. You know, if you get a couple laughs out of it, just watching me, it's okay. You know, I'm having fun and, um, you know, trying not to stress myself about being perfect. And, um, uh, yeah, so that's that. So let's go.
might be a little too heavy. <laughs> I 
发的真是傲。Oh my gosh, at least that was a little easier. It's just for me. I don't know if some of you like that, but sometimes these workouts, like they move so fast, it's like trying to remember it all because it's just so rapid. Oh my gosh, oh I could barf right now. Oh my gosh, this is very exhausting. They definitely make sure you pick a, a dumbbell that is um. Not gonna cause you pain. Something that you're comfortable with. That's a little adds a little challenge to your workout, but you don't want to pull a muscle or hurt yourself. Um, definitely want to um, challenge, make it a challenge. But you know, no no pain, no gain. But you don't want it to the point um, you're in the hospital, so or you have to take like two weeks off because you stretched something too far. So oh gosh, oh. you got it. Very exhausting. I like Mr. and Mrs. Muscle. It's just their workouts are like more high intensity. The hit, and so those are like really hard for me. This is actually um, doing theirs is like the second time I ever doing a hit routine. So, Whew, gosh. Whew, now I just gotta do my yoga, and I don't know if I'm gonna do my leg lifts or not. Um. I'm feeling on oh, my back. <sighs> anyway, so uh, hopefully uh, this encouraged you to kind of get up, get moving. Um, some of the workouts, you know, it's just to kind of show you what's out there and show you the possibilities. Um, they don't have to be crazy, like you know, um, they don't have to be crazy. Um, you could do something right in your house, uh, even if you don't have a dumbbell. You know, you could have a big um. A big water bottle, a big can of um, vegetables or something like that. Uh, what I've learned that you can use too. I just prefer weights just because I'm kind of more in the mode of exercise. Um, and not thinking about food. <laughs> but, um, you know, you just get up and do it and um, and then you feel a whole lot better, you know. Like I said, you, you want to try and keep the moves kind of, um, you know, keep the positions the same way like they're showing. But... I just try not to put too much into it, too much thought into it. So the point is to, you know, if you're worrying too much about stuff during your workout, then it's not going to go right anyway. So, um, you know, just try and do what you can to enjoy it. Mix up your routines, get some cardio, get some dancing, um, do the interval training, do some weights, do some yoga. Um, you know, there's all different kinds of stuff you could do at home, especially now since everybody's kind of like stuck at home and, you know, it can really help you mentally. Just kind of uh, keep going every day. When you're feeling stir crazy, um, you want to get out and do stuff, and you know you can't. And it just gives you a level of calm for a little while. Of course, while you're working out, you know, probably not so much. But once you get done, and just feeling empowered. Um, but yeah, so if you found any value in this, hit subscribe. Um, oh God, sometimes it's so hard to talk, and then I forget what I'm gonna say. Outside, I'll send you a here. gift idea list um, that I made for Valentine's Day, but it's good for anything. You can check that out. It's a nice size list for anybody uh, if you have a hard time shopping for gifts. Uh, for every 50 subscribers, ooh, mail. For every 50 subscribers, yeah, that's what I was waiting on. I kept looking out the window. Tommy, can you get it? Um, the mail. 
For every 50 subscribers, I'll be raffling off for free things like uh, ring card, ring cards, ring lights, Visa gift cards, Bluetooth earbuds, um, magnetic lashes. I'll try and think of some more stuff um, to raffle off. That's pretty simple to ship because um, <clears throat> I want to try and make sure everything stays online, obviously. Um, whew. Oh my gosh. I'm on Twitter, Jenbill84. Instagram is jennifer.a.bell.7. And Facebook is Bell Marketing and Jen's Luscious Lashes. Um, also, if um, if you wanted to join in on a little contest I'm having on Bell Marketing, um, it's a contest to see who can grow the longest mustache, and it's for guys and girls. Just because we're at home, you know, and you know, sometimes we can just feel like we're letting ourselves go, make a little fun out of it, you know. Um, we're all stressed. We're kind of worried about what's next. Um, you know, trying to do all this different stuff, dealing with the kids, trying to get their education still going trying to do exercise you know so i thought i'd make it a little fun um and the some of the prizes are on um, the ticket to the conference that we're having april 4th um and there'll be some other things once i decide so if you want to hop onto that page you can follow to see all the updates on it um see what's going on with that and it would be really fun um but yeah so thanks for watching and um hopefully i can inspire someone to not feel so bad if they can't get the workouts perfect, if they're struggling, if they're having a hard time breathing, just do it, you know. Uh, it gets better over time. Um, it's not an overnight process, but, you know, the process just, the thing is just to get started. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.